What's up guys, thanks for tuning back in. Welcome back to the channel. Today what we're doing, just put a mechanical fuel pump on this 2J Swap Toyota 4Runner. Um, don't know if you can see down in there, right there, the little red one, that's the mechanical fuel pump, driven with a cog belt. Get ready to put the exhaust back on, finish up the cold side piping, probably do a couple of pulls, uh, try to get it dialed in, then we'll do some pulls trying to make big power. So, see what kind of power this thing makes. Got all the cold side piping put on, see the uh, fuel pump down there. Fuel pressures look great at idle. Oil pressure, perfect. Yep, let it warm up, check trans fluid, all that. And uh, we'll be strapping this pig down here and making some pulls here real soon. guys so we got our strap down computer in the car the uh, dyno graph on here so we'll see what she does see what kind of power we can make out of this old 2j <laughs> First hit they set on the gate. Okay. First hit on the gate, just shaking it down, making sure everything's good. How's it feel? Feels like it needs boost. Needs boost. Feels like it needs boost. So we're gonna turn it up. Boosting it, it'll fall into correction because it's it's been mapped to run around 30 psi. So the, the fuel and stuff will kind of start leaning itself out. Yeah, so it's not too happy on the gate. So okay. yeah. Nobody wants to be on the gate. So we're going to turn it up some more and keep doing it. Giving her some of the boost. Second pull. some steam there <laughs> found the boost leak let's we'll see where she popped off yeah blew the uh, blew the charge pipe off tighten that down give it another hit she's on her way to make some good steam on that one so it was it was on its way all right got the boost leak fixed through a just threw a new clamp on it it was on its way to make some steam when the charge pipe blew off. So 28 pounds, made 555. We got some decent DA tonight because the uh, cooler weather rolled in on us. So she's happy, we'll keep feeding it. Creeping up on 600. 
I think because of the air being so good, we might have to do some fuel tuning on it. Man, the DA is real low right now. It is. That's the current DA, which if you look at our altitude, we never see DA under 3,000. That's nuts. So, trying to take advantage of it. All right, same uh, same boost level, a little fuel trimming, a little, uh, little timing in there. Get ready to make another hit. set of spark plugs in it get ready to check the log uh, maybe uh, lean on the boost controller here a little bit turn it up some more and I think personal best in this truck is 655 to the tire uh, and we're creeping up on it on 32 pounds so he races right around 36 38 <laughs> So guys, as you see on that last pass, we blew the cap. I think it's an old cap, so we got a new cap here. Also, we chucked the belt, the serpentine belt. Um, probably when the cap blew, got a bunch of water on the belt. But even with all that, we still made 678 um, to the tire on 39 pounds or 38 pounds, I believe. Call it a night, she's dialed in. Air fuel ratios are almost spot on with what we're commanding. Injector duty cycles 50%. That mechanical pump is putting in work. There you have it, the Toyota 4Runner, 1J head, 2J bottom end, Garrett small frame turbo, a 38 PSI making 680 to the tire. These are the two dynographs where we started and then where we ended up. So this was on the gate at 467 and then this was at 38 PSI. Smoothed the fuel out a lot, Had to, it was fat. It was real fat up top, smoothed the fuel out, gave it a little bit of timing, and then it really woke up with the boost. It it, really, uh, that turbo is really efficient because the horsepower line is all the way up till the engine is actually past its efficiency. So plenty of turbo. Plenty of turbo. So to our knowledge, this is the fastest forerunner in the world. If anybody knows any different, drop a link in the comments. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you uh, don't miss out on any content like this. And uh, hit the like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. This is a pretty wicked machine. Uh, unfortunately, all the track days are canceled this year because of COVID, coronavirus. But we will be getting this thing out next year. Just keep leaning on it. Give it some more boost. Keep sending it.